Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to the IT Buddies channel. First, I want to say thanks to all of my subscribers because you guys love and watch my previous to-do list application video very much which is based on Node.js. So I am back with my another Node.js video. In this project, we'll create complete REST API for CRUD operations where user can create, read, update and delete the data. Before starting the code, you can check my description. There I'll provide you my GitHub repository link of this project. So if you get any error while programming, then you can simply copy the code inside your computer. Now without wasting any time, open your favorite code editor and I am jump inside VS Code. Let's open a fresh terminal. Here I want to go inside my desktop and create a new folder name CRUD because this is our CRUD API. The name is totally up to you. Now move inside that folder. Add the folder that you create recently. Make sure you are inside the right folder. Then after we have to integrate Node.js inside our project and get the package.json file inside this folder. So for that write npm init slash y here i give slash y because it automatically give the value yes to by default questions now press enter here nice package.json file is added successfully and you can see here our main file is index.js so let's create that first we have to import our module that is express so npm i express and import here if you have the latest version of node.js then you can simply import any module by this syntax but with some modification here write type module then after you will use the syntax that is import we use this kind of syntax in react or some other frameworks the second thing that we're gonna need is body parser from body parser this allow us to take in incoming post request bodies now let's write our basic code of node.js that is const app is equal to express after this our whole express module is lie inside this little app variable define port that is 5000 remember 3000 port is for front end and 5000 is for back end And let's use this body parser. So body parser dot JSON because we are using our whole application inside our JSON format. Create the listen request. This is ES6 syntax and after opening our port for our checking purpose right here server is running to start the server write node index.js this is our main file you can see here server is running and if you want to check this particular port 5000 then open your favorite browser right here http 
localhost five thousand, but here you can see cannot get because the get request is missing inside this file. Now let's write the code for the get request. Make sure when you go inside www.google.com, then here we apply get method to get the data from Google server. So for that, we are using get. By default, our path is slash. Here we get the request and response. If you want to show particular data to your client, then use this response dot send. Here I write hello world. Close the server again by pressing Ctrl C and start. Here you can see hello world is showing successfully, but if you notice whenever I write the code and make change inside our file then again I have to close the server and start again. This is so boring. So for that I have installed node.js by pressing npmi nodemon dash dash save. So with this nodemon it automatically restart the server. Now the time is come to add our another routes, but if we add all of our requests in this index.js file, then it will become too big. So for that, create a new folder called routes. Inside that, I am creating a file named users.js. Here again, import express from express. Then const router is equal to express dot router. Make sure the R is capital here. This is the by default syntax and bear with me. You will understand all of this thing after some time. Now write the code with me here. Instead of this app.get, we will write router.get and the path is slash again request and response. Response.send hello and now we have to export this router. So we can use them inside our index.js file. So export default router. Open index.js. Here import routes from routes user.js. Then instead of this app dot get right use then users and here write this name routes then start the server with nodemon There is an error showing here. Nodemon is not recognized. So inside this package.json, go inside the script stack and below this test, right here, start nodemon index.js and save the file. Here we have to write users because name is users that is in typo so now write npm start 
and you see here our node mode is start because we add some script inside package.json file so when we write npm start it will automatically call node mode index.js and instead of hello world here you can see cannot get so first let's understand these things here i write app.use by default the path is slash users so here the path is slash users after our local host and when the users path is called it will go inside these routes and call this file and here we exported our router function so this will call and router dot get slash will call so here by this code we get here hello and if you want to change this from like my name instead of only slash you can see here it will go inside this users and then the path name that you define here because first our main file call and here we automatically define by default users so all the incoming requests will call after this users and now let's change it from my name to by slash and the hello will call so this is the syntax to use the router inside of a file the time is come to add some of our users inside of a project or you can say the database but i am not using mongodb here so for that i am adding an array of users manually first name is john last name is Vic. that is my favorite movie john v right here city new york now save the file here we send the message hello but we want to pass the array of users so right here users and when you refresh the page you can see here our array of one user now let's add another user and i change it you can write here anything now we are getting two users instead of writing every username manually we have to allow our client that he can add a new user so for that the method name is post that allow the client to add some data himself path is slash and this is our default syntax first we pass request then response now listen me guys if you want to send particular data from client side to server then here we have to create a form that will get our data but remember we are creating backend rest api so to send the data from client side we are using a tool named postman so this is the most important tool when you are creating backend api because it will allow to use get post and all of the request instead of checking here so i already download inside my machine so i open that i am inside the collections and opening a new tab and let's copy and paste here our request url so this is how postman works if i write get request and the path you see here 
all of our users are showing inside the body to change the request from get to post first for our checking purpose i write response.send so whenever the client send a particular data from postman then it will go and show inside our browser to so write post method is called open the post request go inside body row and make sure here you have json tag because we are using all of our application data in json format and to pass another user let's copy this and change the name or you can change anything this is totally up to you and send the request so here you see post request is called if i change the request here you can see our new user is not added yet but we add some user details from our post method so to change here write another code create a new variable name user and we get the data from request dot body because when we add a new user from our post method it will call and go inside our body so first we are getting the new user data from request dot body then we have to push the particular user inside this users array so write users dot push new user and to make our api better i write user with the name user dot first name added instead of this double quotes don't forget to use these backticks so i save the file now let's send our post and you see here user with the name tom added because user dot first name is tom so now call the get request and you can see guys here all of our users are now show also here yes this works perfectly you might have a question is it possible to get only one user detail instead all of the users so yes it is possible and for that we have to use this UUID package so it will help us to allow particular different ID to all of the users so by fetching the particular ID we get the request of the user so copy this paste here so when we create this post request at that time we attach some kind of id to that user so i am creating 
another variable name id and this is the by default function that uid package provide us and create another variable that is user id so this is the user that have the id and to apply the id to user that we added so first we have to fetch the user and then provide the id them like this and instead of pushing only user right here user id save the file there is an error that uid is not imported then let's import it by close the server and write here npm i uuid start the server save the file first server is running now send the get request but here you can see id is not showing so first let's add another user name is chris here with the chris user you see the id that is by default provided by the uid package but there are not added here because we apply all of the user manually so let's empty this array and instead of const i use let here again send the post request then get you see again with new id our user is created so every time you add a new user like i write john and send the post request you see different id is showing for both of the users now let's write the new request for if i only want to get the crease details so router dot get here after slash i write this because after the user we will write the particular id that is this so i apply the path here slash id and request response first we have to grab the id from our parameter that i am provide so const id is request dot params dot id this is similar that we get the data of request dot body but now i get the data from the parameter so i write request dot params dot id create a new variable name found user so here i'll write the code for which i am check the id of the particular user and the id that our client will provide here so for that first go inside our whole users array and write the find method here we will check all of the user individually that is inside our array and check the id of our user enter and the id that we have inside our database then response dot send request dot parents 
this is for our checking purpose only but instead of the params write found user so let's copy the particular id of the chris user and paste but nothing is called because our users list is empty remember we are not attaching database so again we call the post request then get now i am copying the id and paste after these users so here you see i am only getting the john user detail add another user copy the id you see i only get the user that is john not joel because i am providing the id of john then the time is come to apply our next request that is delete To delete the particular user will provide the id so the path is this then apply request and response first we'll get the id similar like our previous request so request dot params Now attention guys, I use the filter method. For each and every user, I'll check user ID and here not equal to ID. See guys, instead of delete one user, I am using filter method. So first, we get the array of whole users then check individually them if the id of that user is match that provided by our client then we will not show that user and we will show all of the user except the user that is passed by the id now write the send method and make sure you use backtick that is on left hand side of one number user with the id deleted now save but here we miss the id now open the postman send the request of the new user you see here user with the name is added copy the id pass here and change the request delete now i'm sending and you see guys user with this id is deleted now if i am sending the get request you see here empty because there is no user inside the database now the time is come to add another request that is patch to update the user details remember guys there is a difference between patch and put if you want to change whole user data then you have to use put but if you want to change only first name or last name or the city of a user then use patch method
then pass the particular id of the user request response then similar like our previous request we are getting the id similar like we fetching id we also fetch the first name last name and the city of the user because our client is changing one of them so const first name last name and city this come from body const the user now i am fetching our whole users array and apply the find method because first we have to find the user that i want to update so pass user here and match the id with the id stored inside our database then if user want to change the first name only then he will pass the new value to our first name so it will change from our previous value to this new value like this i am using single if statement syntax similar like our first name write the last and city l is small then to make our api better i send the message that is user with the id has been changed use backtick here save the file open postman pass the new post method of the user send a get request copy the id provide here using the patch method i will change only the city name so instead of new york write amdabad and sending the patch request so here you get the message user with the id has been changed so if i send the get request again you see guys instead of new york i only see amdabad because i changed the detail of joel user this is it guys we apply all of the crud request you see this is for get if we want to show all of the users then this is for only one user here is the post if we want to add a new user in our database then this is the delete by applying a particular id we'll delete the user then this is patch this is for our update method so all of the requests are done and our index file is up to the mark now i hope you write the code similar as me and get the desired output but if you get any error while programming then don't worry check the description i am providing you my github repository link so copy the necessary part and paste inside your computer and get your output right at the end 
If you like this video and project based on Node.js, then press the like button and also subscribe my channel because I always come with the amazing videos. Thank you and bye-bye.